Rashane Patterson, the person of interest in the murder of social media influencer Anika Slikiana Townsend, is now in police custody. The woman's body was removed from the sea in Reading St. James on October 21. Rashane Patterson, the individual named as a person of interest in the death of social media influencer and entrepreneur Anika Slickiana Townsend, was captured by lawmen in Hanover early Wednesday morning. Patterson, otherwise known as Chizzy, was arrested by the police at a guest house in the parish shortly after 1 a.m., proving that he in fact never left the island and was simply house hopping or hiding out at multiple houses. Keep in mind, his family is well known within Jamaica and has multiple connections, which is believed to be the reason why he was able to get away with multiple crimes in the past. Patterson was named as a person of interest in Townsend's death on October 22nd. He was reportedly supposed to turn himself into the police last Tuesday. However, that never happened. He was expected to report to the police on November 3rd. On Friday, October 21st, Townsend's body was discovered by beachgoers floating in the sea in Reading, St. James and it was suspected by authorities that she was killed at a different location and then placed into the water. The following day, Patterson was named as a person of interest and asked to turn himself in to the police for questioning in relation to the murder of Anika Townsend by 5 p.m. on October 23rd. The 37-year-old was reportedly the last person seen with her while she was alive at a restaurant. Patterson failed to turn himself into the authorities, and reports began to arise that he had fled the country via the Sangster International Airport en route to the United States, though the police would later state that there was no evidence of that. Speaking at the Jamaica Constabulary Force's monthly press briefing on Tuesday, the Commission of Police reiterated those statements and said that the JCF has nothing to indicate that Patterson has ever left the country. The deputy commissioner of police reassured the public that the police are actively pursuing the matter, but said they are currently in a delicate position. During the briefing, Bailey disclosed that an attorney had contacted him, indicating that they would take Patterson to see the authorities on Thursday. According to reports from the Jamaica Gleaner, Patterson has a criminal record and was allegedly held on charges of murder, attempted murder, and rape. The case against Patterson was reportedly later thrown out after the prosecution's primary witness could not be located. Reports revealed that back in 2018, the then 33-year-old Patterson convinced an ex-girlfriend to meet him at a gas station along the Duany Park Main Road on Boxing Day 2018. According to the reports, once the girlfriend was in the car with him, Patterson showed her a picture of her present boyfriend and demanded he know how many times they've had sex. Patterson also reportedly accused the girlfriend of working with the police. Patterson reportedly drove away with the ex-girlfriend against her will before stopping along the roadway to choke her and hit her all over her body. He then demanded her to go to the ATM to withdraw money to give to him. The woman reportedly refused the request, after which Patterson allegedly threatened to kill her and throw away her body. The woman reportedly convinced Patterson that she would not make a report to the police after which Patterson reportedly took her back to her car and drove away. She subsequently reported the matter to the police. Police then used the information from this case to arrest Patterson on Wednesday morning. The attorney representing Rashane Patterson, Kingston-based attorney at law Michelle Thomas, has alleged that Patterson was beaten by cops and questioned by officers without her present to observe the interview. She told The Observer Online that her client said a police officer hit him with a hard object, which broke his cell phone that was in his pocket, which she claimed contained information vital to his defense. Thomas said she was retained by Patterson's parents and had agreed to be present when he turned himself over to the police. However, according to Thomas, Patterson got cold feet and did not turn himself in, which resulted in the police descending on a guest house he was staying in Hanover, where he was arrested. Thomas explained that after learning that Patterson was in custody, she contacted the detective in charge of the case and discussed the question and answer session with her client. She added that she went to Montego Bay, St. James on Thursday, and after speaking with her client, he reported that he was questioned and a statement was taken by the police officer. A detective responded that he had no knowledge that Patterson was questioned and that they have no knowledge of Mr. Patterson retaining any lawyer. She also alleged that the police are yet to charge her client in the Anika Townsend matter due to insufficient evidence. Speaking on the unrelated charges placed against him on Thursday, Thomas said, It is so comical 
that having statements from someone from 2018 sitting in a file, why are we pursuing a matter now? What were the police officers doing back then until now? This was a man that was not hiding for all of this time. Patterson was officially charged on Thursday for offenses unrelated to the death of Anika Thompson. The number of cases and full details surrounding those matters have not been revealed. Assistant Commissioner of Police Clifford Chambers, commander of the Area 1 Police Division, told The Observer Online that Patterson, who was picked up in Hanover by an Area 1 operational team on Wednesday, will be charged following a question and answer session in the presence of an attorney. In a statement, he said the following, The operation was executed on Wednesday morning at the Palm Tree Guest House in Green Island, and it was executed by members of the Area 1 team. Patterson is safely in custody and will be interviewed and most definitely will be charged for offenses relating to the media influencer, Anika Townsend. ACP Chambers said he was not advised of any challenges in picking up Patterson. He said the operation was smoothly executed, no shots were fired, and there were no confrontations. He also added that the tactical team was very equipped and competent, so if there was any intended resistance, the individual would have been more than likely to think twice before doing anything irrational. Amidst rumors that Patterson fled the country, ACP Chambers refuted the claim, saying, he was here all the while. He never left the shores of Jamaica. The investigation remains ongoing.